Amen. Well, praise the Lord. New Horizons Church. This is the day the Lord has made. And I pray you're rejoicing and you are glad in it. Listen, we're into the third week of our 21 days of fasting and praying and believing God is making all things new. This is day 15 of our 21 days of fasting and praying. And as we get ready to go into this third and final week of praying, I want to lead us into a confession about the victory that we have in Jesus name. Each week uh, for the past three weeks, we've been confessing a scripture over our life for seven days. And for the next seven days, we want to confess first Corinthians chapter 15 and 57 that talks about us having victory in Jesus name. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57 says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to repeat after me this confession. I have victory in Jesus name. I'm victorious in my faith. I'm victorious in my family. I'm victorious in my finances. I am victorious in my fitness. I am victorious in my future. I am and I have victory in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you and we praise God for you having victory in the name of Jesus. Listen, today uh, we're going to pray um, that the word of God will go out into all of the world that the gospel will be preached, that pastors and preachers and ministers and teachers all over this world, all over this nation, this cult, uh, this country, this community, our culture would hear the word of God. We're going to lift up the media ministries at New Horizons Church, our radio ministry, our, our social media platforms, our virtual worship services, all the ways that God has given to us to get the word out. We're going to pray that those word, that word and those ministries would be effective and attractive in the lives of the people that God allows it to reach today. So let's go to God believing that we have the victory in Jesus name and that the gospel will go forward and people will hear it and be saved. Come on, let's get ready to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the good news of Jesus Christ. We thank you for his death. Hallelujah. His burial. Hallelujah. And his resurrection. We thank you for resurrection power today for we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for we know that it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to everyone that believes in the death, burial, and resurrection. We know that eternity with you and all eternity with you is available, God. We thank you for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the various outlets that we have to share the gospel, whether it be on radio or television or the internet or social media, God. Thank you for the various ways you have given us to be able to preach and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. We thank you for all of the technology that allows the word to go forth in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the computers and we thank you for the telephones and the tablets and the the the, the cell phones and all the ways that we're able to use God to proclaim the good news that Jesus saves. And we thank you for word of mouth, God. We thank you for us still being able to share with our family and friends, our co-workers, our neighbors, the good news of Jesus Christ. God, use these ministry outlets, God. Make them attractive to people who need to hear the gospel around the world. Thank you for using the New Horizons Church and the ministries of this church to get the word out, God. Thank you that we are a church that's not ashamed of the gospel, for we know it to be the power of God, the salvation to everyone that believes. So I pray that when the word hits someone's life today, it's going to explode in their spirit. It's going to explode in their soul. It's going to unite and ignite faith in their life, God, for them to believe you for the forgiveness of their sins. We say, hallelujah, God. We say, thank you, Jesus. We say, praise the name of the Lord for the wonderful things that you have done. Thank you for using us. Thank you for letting us be used to bring you glory in this season. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. It is in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, let the Lord use you today to be an instrument of his goodness, to be an instrument of his gospel. And we're going to continue in our 21 days of fasting and praying. This was day 15. I'll be back tomorrow with day 16. Looking forward to hearing about the victories that we have in Jesus name. Be victorious today. God bless.